Hey gang, David Landis, the creator of DesktopGremlins.com. Big video entry today. The pages for the book, Desktop Gremlins Volume 1, are on press right now. And um, Zoom Printing here in Richmond, Virginia has been gracious enough to invite me over with the video camera so we can go behind the scenes together and see how this process works. Um, I am thrilled about this, and this this is a big deal. This is this is where the dream becomes a reality, where we get to see the full scope of what printing a book is is like. And uh, I can't wait to share this experience with you. So, without further ado, let's witness the birth of Desktop Gremlins Volume One. I'm here with Joanne Rossi yeah. okay. at uh, Zoom Printing here in Richmond, Virginia. And tell me a little bit about what we're doing right now. Okay, well, we're working on um, getting some plates made, and each color that prints on the press needs its own plate. And so Nick's got a plate that's just been made, and we're going to take it in the other room and put it in the processor, and then it will kind of develop it. Kind of you what, the same way you might think of film getting developed, I guess, but it's not film. It's a metal, a metal sheet that is going to hang on the press. So the plate goes in this side, and it, as it goes through, it's kind of processing it and it'll come out looking a little different. It'll have almost like a negativity looking image on there, but it'll represent one single color. And so then it gets hung on the press and each, each color will have its own plate and it will only print that ink color with that plate on the sheet of paper as it passes through. Okay. All right. The plate hang is uh, semi-automated. So, like, you put them in the gates. I'm going to start the process now. All right, so we got our inks here. We got our, our cyan, magenta, yellow, and black is way down there on the end. So, this. So, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but, yeah. like, yeah, each ink has got a plate, as you can see, and it's going to get wrapped around the cylinder underneath of it. And it's very automated, so the press is, once it's in its little chamber like that, the press is going to take it down and wrap it around and kind of attach it to the cylinder that's underneath. So then as the paper rolls, you can imagine each sheet is going, is being printed by each one as it quickly goes through the press. And so the layers together are making the full color image that you're going to see at the end. So also as it runs, really loud. Um, as it runs, Nick, as the press man, is, is um, monitoring ink levels, making sure this stays full. You wouldn't want an ink to run dry and the, and the rest of them still be full because it would obviously make your image turn out unbalanced and bad looking. Right. He's, he's watching everything, all the levels and the colors and just keeping everything running smoothly while it's running. Yeah, what a lot of people don't realize is, yeah, when we have color photography, you know, this is these are the colors you need. You need cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and that's that. Those are the four ink colors you need to make that full color image. So right now we're swapping out the plates from the previous sheet, and putting in the new ones. So in the past, the plates were made store and a lot of printing places would have big rooms where they're hanging the plates to store them in case a customer came back to get something done again. But you know materials and costs have come down. These are aluminum. We actually recycle these just like you do aluminum cans and um, so we don't we don't store them we recycle them. That's excellent. That means that means David Landis isn't where he's supposed to be. Let's say that you've got gates open and things are going on, so we'll send the file for the artwork that you're about to print. We're on the fourth signature. So as you go, it will it'll it'll load each color pretty close to where you need. Each one of these represents a key on press of how open the key is to let the ink out onto the sheet to keep within density. It's, it's 
usually pretty close. Black is sitting at 1.65 approximately, density-wise. And this is just a reading per individual key, so you know where it's at if you want to make an adjustment. All right. Um, we're, we're pretty deep into this job, so basically, the only adjustments I will make is to keep it level. So what he's what he's going to do now is, you know, he's he pulled a sheet after everything got up to color, and he's he's just checking everything real close. He's, that tool he's using is called a loop. It just magnifies things so he can see everything really up close. And this strip of rainbow colors across the top is representing the keys that he was talking about before. So if you can imagine, like each little color is representing. That ink, does, that ink amount in this strip of the paper, so he can pull this across and it will read those ink keys or ink levels and tell him if he is in the right spot or how to adjust, you know, right. see how to adjust. It essentially shoots a beam of light through each patch to tell you how dense the ink is piled up on the paper. So that's how we get all of our good consistency and uh, across right, the whole right. press sheet. So it nicks off the color and see this little stack of paper that's about that big? So with advances in technology and presses that are today, there's a lot less waste than there used to be. There, it used to take, you know, almost a pallet of paper to get up to that level. So the waste of paper is so small, we can recycle that a little bit. But, and also it, it transfers the customer, the customer's not paying for all that waste either. So it makes your job in the end, in the end, cheaper for the customer. Right, right, wonderful. Okay, so Nick also was referencing this, which is, this is the proof. This is an actual, you know, color representation of what the job's gonna look like. And so he, he has this on the side so he can kind of go to the pages that he's printing and just see in reference what's there and just kind of as a safety check. So when people say, okay, yeah, and you can see, okay, he can see where the pages are and what page is on the back of what page to make sure he's printing the correct pages on the back of each page. Right. So it's very important to have a proof and that's what you Every time he, when he takes his next 
cut, he's got to push two buttons with both hands and then push the foot pedal so that he can't have his hand underneath of the blade. When I got gotcha. you. Yeah, exactly. Because that would not be good. Yeah, I saw him reach way back in there. <laughs> and I was, yeah. yeah, there's also this light curtains that put out beams. But that's right, I forgot about that. Broken, then the light will come out. All right, Joanne, thank you so much for this tour of the printing of Desktop Gremlins Volume 1. You're welcome.